I'm doing my full tea collection, which is a little crazy. I got requested to do this and I really wanted to because I talk about tea all the time. I have so many different teas that I talk about and show you in different videos, so I thought maybe I'd just show you all of them just so I could just get it all out there. So I want to explain myself a little bit before I show you the massive collection that I have because it's kind of embarrassing. So what I kind of do with teas is when I want to try something, I go and I get 20 to 30 grams. That usually gets me 5 to 10 cups of tea. It depends because each tea weighs differently. For this reason, it's kind of why I like David's tea a lot more and I've kind of stopped going to tea vodka. David's tea, you can get like however many grams you want. You can get like 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, and at Tivana, the smallest you can get is 50, which I'm not really big in that. A lot of the teas that I have are just like ones that I've bought and that are like 20 to 30 grams and that I've never finished or I didn't really like that much enough to repurchase or something that I don't really crave that often that I don't drink that often that that kind of deal so I just have a lot I just have a lot and people judge me all the time people judge me all the time I'm not gonna talk too much in depth about each one kind of just like show you what I got. So this is my tea collection. This is going to be a very long video, most likely. So sit down, grab your popcorn, grab your tea, and just get ready for this because there's gonna be a lot. So for storage, um, this is just like the kitchen counter. And my mom has given me the bottom drawer. So um, I keep the majority of my teas in here. It's just like, you know, the pots the pots drawer. If I could have the whole thing, that would be um, way better, but yeah. So this is where I keep most of my stuff. This is mostly like David's tea stuff. And then I keep like the filters and then like other steepers and you know, such in there. I have this like straw thing that filters it. I've never used it, but every once in a while, I'll kind of go through it and then like put all the herbal teas, get all the green teas, black teas, that kind of deal and I'll probably do that after I film this video since I'll have them all out of the drawer. And then at the top of the cupboards I keep some boxes up there and that is where I keep um, a lot of box teas or old Tivana teas that I don't really use that often and just teas that I don't drink on a regular basis um, and I just keep them up there just for more room and then in this cupboard this is kind of like my mom's coffee sugar random cupboard and I keep um, a couple more boxes in here so I have those and then um, just like the circle ones like this they stay in here kind of just share this one with my mom not that she likes that that much. So these are just a closer look up at the boxes. So I have like, you know, random box teas, like bigger boxes um, in here. Ones that take up a lot of room in the tea drawer. So I just kind of, you know, save space. And then in here, it's just all of my old Tivana ones that I don't really drink that often. I mean, they're still good, but. And then this one is just like a bunch of random, like, Dash ones, second cup, just you know, random um, envelopes of from boxes that I've had before. And then this is just some more boxes. Keep some Blueberry Bliss from Tivana in here. I keep some the Earl's Garden in here, which is a strawberry Earl Grey tea from David's Tea. I usually have some pineapple Kana Pop from Tivana in here, but I am out. I keep my mango fruit punch tea from David's Tea in here. Got Forever Nuts, Cream of Earl Grey, Peaches and Cream, Pink Flamingo, and basically all these teas coming up are from David's Tea. Blueberry Pancake, which is Blueberry Jam Plus So Canada, Guava Cadabra, which is how I think you pronounce it, I don't know. Pistachios and cream, this one's really good with milk. Green and fruity, this one's pretty good, it's just not my favorite. This is the gingerbread, it was a part of the winter collection. We got some mango lassi, which is like a mango chamomile, kind of vanilla e tea, it's very good. We got the lime gelato green tea, which I talk about all the time, so you already know my thoughts on this one. We got the chocolate rocket, it, this one's really good, it's very high caffeine so if you're looking for something like that then I would go for one of those 
um, Matsmete teas again, yeah. Yeah, that's how you say it. We got some bear trap. This one's okay. I don't know. It kind of has way too many berries going on and it kind of confuses me. Like, there's just too much flavor going on in here. So this one's not really my favorite. We got the birthday cake. This one's pretty good. I just don't really crave it that often, but it is a good tea. This is the Midnight Summer's Dream. I used to really like this one and then I got really sick of it and now I really don't like it anymore so I don't know mixed feelings right now got the Alpine punch this one was a winter tea um, I it smells so good that I actually tried to eat some and then I ruined it because I tried to eat it and then it was gross and now I can't look at the same so don't try to do that at home okay this is the goji pop this is one of my favorites and I will continue to tell you that in every single video because I I love it so much. This is the Read My Lips black tea. It's like a chocolate peppermint tea. It is super good. I don't really crave it that often, but when I do, it's really good with milk, and I just love it. It's such a popular tea there. This is the Blue Lagoon. It was a part of the spring collection. This one was okay. It's not super flavorful, kind of a strange weak flavor but it was good this is the palm tango it is a mango black tea mango pomegranate black tea it was a part of the spring collection as well um i really like this one actually so hopefully they bring it back next year this is the pink lemonade rooibos tea this is a favorite of mine this is so good so so good this is sleigh ride it was a part of the a Christmas collection, but they actually still have it online. It's one of my favorite teas, as you can tell, the bag's bigger, because um, I bought a bigger amount, so uh, get it well it lasts, you know? This is Cranberry Pear Black Tea. I am so in love with this one, it's so good. This is the Ice Cream Cake Black Tea. Uh, I got this one for like my 18th birthday, I'm pretty sure. They don't even make it anymore, it's pretty old, but it actually does taste like ice cream cake, so. It was good. This is a new one. This is the Cotton Candy Rooibos Tea. I talk about this in a uh, separate video. This is the Glitter and Gold Black Tea. It's a really, really good, different spin on a chai. It's kind of, you know, vanilla, orange, cloves. It's a really nice, um, it's a really nice twist on a chai tea. It's really good. This is the Toasted Walnut Green Tea. This. This one has a really nice flavor. I really, really like this one. Um, didn't really think I would at first, but I really do. This is a little sample that I got that I kind of kept in this bag. It's the Strawberry Rhubarb Parfait. This one's pretty good. I got it as a teapot, and it was really good, actually. This is the Red Velvet Cake Tea. This one's really good. Um, it's really sweet, and it's just not something I crave that often, so I don't drink it that often, but when I do, it's really good. This is Love Tea number 7. It's pretty much like a chocolate, strawberry kind of black tea. It's really good with milk. I've only drank it once, so I kind of had to play around with it a little bit. I made it weak, too weak last time, so. But this one's really good, actually. It's not something that you would notice right away because of the title, but it's really good. For some reason, I had two red berry tonic teas, so I'm just gonna, you know. But yeah, so we got red berry tonic. This is my favorite iced tea. If you know me, you know that. This is the Hibiscus Punch, which was a spring tea, but if you wanted to try it, um, the new summer tea, uh, what's it called, Sangria, it's really similar to this one. And this is the Sangria one, I got this one as well. It is a part of the summer collection this year, so if you want to try it, it's gonna be disappearing soon. We got some more Goji Pop, I got a couple duplicates, I guess. Same with the Guava Cadabra. Uh, this one's really good ice, it's one of my Faves. This is the Root Beer Float Black Tea. It's a part of a Carnival Summer Collection. Did a whole video on that, but uh, yeah, it's not my favorite tea. It's kind of strange, but kind of good at the same time. It's it's really weird. It really messes with your emotions. This is the Organic Countess of Seville. I think that's how you say it. It's pretty much a green tea plus Earl Grey tea mix. It's really good, actually. I really like this one. It's you can tell it's a little bit older because the bag's really crinkly, but yeah. And this is some more organic cream of Earl Grey. I got this as a gift, so when I start to really 
down the one in the tin. I'm just gonna dump this in there. It's my favorite Earl Grey tea, actually. This is the Black Forest Black Tea. This one has a really weird aftertaste. Wouldn't recommend it. This is just a classic chai tea. Um, I used to mix this one with the Tazo one, which I left at Brendan's a long time ago. This is the Movie Night Green Tea. Okay, so this one is a apple green tea popcorn kind of deal. There's actually a little popcorn in there, and it's kind of really intimidating. Like, I had this for like two years before I actually tried it, but it's actually really good. This is the Grape Expect. Green tea, is that how you say it? So this one was a springtime tea and I kind of really wish that I stocked up, which I didn't. I think they still have some online, so I might check that out. This is the Bravissimo tea. It is a really good tea for your throat. It's just kind of a peppermint, chamomile, orange peel, goji berry kind of tea. It's just really simple and it makes your throat feel really good. I also have the Cold 911 tea, which is not at my house right now, it's at Brendan's, but I really like this one a lot more than the Cold 911. This is the Coco Chai Roibus. Um, I just tried this one a couple weeks ago and it's actually my new favorite tea. It's really good, it's caffeine free. This is the Cherry Snow Cone tea, that's a herbal tea, it's super good iced. It's my new favorite of the Summer Carnival Collection iced tea. It's really good. This is the Shooting Star Fruit White Tea. Again, this is another fave iced tea of mine forever and ever. This is the Coffee Pura Pura. I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, it's pretty much like a chocolate caramel almond flavored coffee tea. It's really good. Brendan really likes this one. I can't really drink it that often because coffee makes me sick. And there's actual coffee beans in here, and it's full of caffeine, but it's okay because it's really good. This is the Hot Mama Black Tea. It is a uh, rhubarb chai. It's really interesting. It's actually really good. This is the Pineapple Oolong Tea. It's a really nice tea. It's really sweet, and I really like this one. We got some more green and fruity uh, because one year for Christmas, my mom... Went to David's Tea for the first time and she wanted to get me some teas and she got me a couple that I already had. But that means she has good taste because she already knows what I'm gonna like. This is the Vanilla Oolong Tea. I don't know if they still have this one. I got this like a really long time ago. I don't really know if I've seen it around there recently. But yeah, it's really good. If they still have it, I try it. It kind of tastes like cake, like vanilla cake in a way. This is Kiwi's Big Adventure. I don't really know what happened to the package there, but... Um, this is another really good iced green tea. And this is the salted caramel black tea. This one's really good as well. Really nice dessert with milk kind of tea. You know what I'm saying? This is the mango madness white tea. It's pretty bitter. Um, but I really like mangoes teas, so I want to give it a try. This is Santa's Secret. It was a part of the winter collection, as you can probably tell. And it is pretty much like a candy cane tea. I actually really like this one. I like it more so in the winter and around Christmas, but you know. This is one of the first Tivana teas I ever tried. It's Wait to Go, which is a Pura tea. Again, um, this one's okay. It kind of has a weird flavor, but it's from Tivana. This is Peach Momo Taro. That's probably not how you say it, but every time I see M-O-M-O, -M -O, I'm like, Momo. It's a blooming tea, so it kind of just turns into a flower in a pot. Not much flavor, but blooming tea is cool, so I have some. This is the Super Fruit Unity. I think that's how you say it. Again, you guys, I'm not that good at pronouncing things or spelling things or any of that, so don't be surprised. This is a flavored green tea, not my fave. The Fruit Bomba, that's another uh, flavored green tea. I actually kind of like this one. I drank quite a bit of it. So I just got some of their classic Earl Grey tea. It's not my favorite Earl Grey tea, but... I still have it. This is the Opus Rouge. Um, I drank a lot of this one. I really like this one. As you can tell, there's like a tiny little bit left. Not even enough to make a cup probably, but this one was really good actually. This is the Jinja Citrus Twist. Uh, I got this as a sample. I think it's like a lemon lime green tea. I can't even remember what it tastes like to be honest with you. And that's why I don't really like Tivana's packaging, packaging, because it doesn't explain anything of what it's in there. So 
it's gonna be hard for me to explain these to you. This is the Precious White Peach. This is a peach white tea. I really like this one actually. It's a bit bitter, but it's actually a really nice warm peach flavor. This is the Strawberry Lemonade. This one's really good mixed with the Blueberry Bliss. That's why I bought it. Um, because Taylor Parks told me that in like a video from like three years ago and that's how I started ordering from Tijuana actually so thanks Taylor. This is a passion berry and this one kind of reminds me of the bear trap one so again not my favorite. This is the pomegranate cranberry. Um, I don't even really remember what this one tastes like to be honest with you. And here I keep the cranberry Singapore sling I think it was called. Uh, which was like my favorite tea for a while. And I got a couple from Tea Story. This is green apple mix, which doesn't taste like anything really. It kind of tastes like bear trap again. Just This is a sweet strawberry. I went through a phase of drinking this all the time. I really liked it, but uh, got kind of sick of it. And this is vanilla green tea. It's actually really good. This is a chocolatey chai. It's Superstore brand, so if you live in America, I'm sorry. Maybe you can find it somewhere, but it's actually it's so good. It's one of my favorites when I'm going through chai phases. I go through this like crazy. This is the holiday blend tea from Second Cup. Uh, I got this as a gift like two Christmases ago, I think. And it's really good. It's kind of like a cranberry orange black tea in a way. It is really good. I got it as like a London fog, Christmas fog thing. This is a Tazo orange blossom green tea. I don't like this tea at all. I got this as a gift. Uh, actually, no, I won this in a gift basket. Actually no, my mom won it in a gift basket and I just have it, so yeah. This is a peach black tea. As you can see, it's open. Uh, not my favorite, but it's okay. This is just like a big jumbo uh, 80 pack of Earl Grey tea from Safeway. And then this is a little sample I got from Tivana. It's Mara Haja Chai Oolong plus Samaria Chai Mate Blend. This is the Chocolate Berry Earl Grey. It's Archer Farms brand, which I'm pretty sure is like Target brand. I got this in the States like two years ago. I actually really, really like this one. It's really good. This is the Holiday Chai Black Tea. It's kind of like a gingerbread rum flavored chai tea, as you can see in the writing on the box. And these two teas aren't really my teas. They're from Mexico. My parents got them. I've never tried either one of them, so yeah. In this box, they kind of have like a random, lots of random stuff, so oops, everything's gone. Oops, there it goes. So, you know, just, you know, the stash, whatever's. Chamomile, apple cinnamon, they're all pretty decent. Just more chai. Um, and then, oh gosh. This one, oh gosh. <laughs> this is the green tea plus glow, which is pretty much like a grapefruit green tea, which I actually really like. This is a raspberry white tea. I don't really like this one, to be honest. This is a red tea rooibos red berry. It's actually really good. This is mango fruit, passion fruit, mango fruit. It's mango fruit green tea. Um, this one's pretty good. It's a little bit better, but uh, I like passion fruit everything. This is the pure peppermint, you know, just classic peppermint. Don't drink this one. My mom drinks this one. Here's another mint green tea. I'm pretty sure this is my mom's. This is the blueberry superfruit green tea. It's pretty good. This one is the chai vanilla bean chai. It's so good. It tastes like vanilla bean frappuccino plus chai tea mix. And this is the last one. Um, that was my whole collection pretty much. So this is the Sleepy Time Vanilla. Um, I really like this tea. It was in my favorites for May. Um, so yeah, that is my whole tea collection pretty much. There's probably a couple that I've left at Brendan's house or in my car, in my purse or something. But pretty much that is it. If I end up changing anything, getting new teas, getting rid of teas, which I do all the time, um, I will do update videos probably, you know, every couple months or something if you guys are curious about new teas that I have and teas that I don't have anymore. So yeah, that is everything. Okay, that is it. Okay, goodbye.